Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial we will work together on this uh, summer cardigan that I designed and that I actually promised, uh, I think two weeks ago, when I published the dress, the summer dress, I said I want to work something like a matching set uh, with the dress. And here it is. Now, even if you don't want to work the dress, you can work only the cardigan because it's a perfect summer cardigan for summer, a, I don't know, chilly weather summer, you know, when it's raining, when uh, maybe in the evening, so uh, afternoon, when it's a little bit more chilly, the air, it's just perfect. Now, exactly the same uh, yoke I worked for the cardigan as I worked for the dress, which means you have in the dress tutorial, I put the link below, you have the, in the dress tutorial how to work the yoke, okay? It is worked with the granny vari variation stitch and it's pretty easy and you, I'm sure you won't have problems to work it. Now, from the division row, round row, because we are working uh, here on the cardigan, from the division row, you will work, I changed a little bit the stitch, I put a stitch more, um, let's say, um, a lighter stitch, more summerish. So I work with a shell stitch, it's really, really easy, only that it's more, as I said, nice and light and lacy. That's the part of the uh, yoke. Okay, uh, for the written instruction, five sizes, you have them on my blog for free. I just decided to uh, give you for some days, I don't know how many days I want to uh, keep them there on my blog, but they will be there for at least two days, okay? So you can just go ahead, link below, you can just go ahead, pick up your uh, size and just work it. Now, for the quantity of yarn, I work with 3.5 millimeters hook, for the quantity of yarn, uh, more than 400 grams you will need. So I actually worked it with uh, the Camilla Cotton Magic that uh, remained me from the, from the dress and was about 300 grams the quantity and I really needed more. So I put linen because I had it at home and I said, okay, I will just continue on. Not continue on, but as you can see, I put some lines, some stripes of linen and it looks great from my point of view. It's really beautiful. I really love to play with colors and with yarns. Okay, but if you don't want to work it with Camilla Cotton Magic, you can work it Camilla Cotton. It's a uh, cotton, summer, uh, it's a moisturized cotton that uh, we have it in our shop as uh, changing color yarn, but also uh, one color, okay? So you can choose one color plus a changing color yarn that uh, goes with, and you will have something really beautiful, okay? You have the link below and uh, you will see. Now I will give you some substitute. If you want to work with other uh, yarns from our shop, I will give you some substitute. Okay, one of these very, very nice and soft and silky and everything you want fresh for summer is pure bamboo. So this is just a lovely yarn. You, you, I don't know, you have to touch it. You have to work with it to, to believe. Okay, it's pure bamboo. So you will need, one pack will be okay. Then another uh, substitute, another possibility is the Visco cotton chain. Beautiful yarn pearled a little bit, um, what can I say, it's, it's really fancy. Here we go with something really fancy. And this one you will need two packs, at least two packs for small, medium yarn, you will need two packs. Okay, or you can just go ahead and try it with the cake, the cotton fine cake, okay? will be just lovely. The cake is not only for scarf or shorts, but also for top-down cardigan blouse construction. Would be just lovely and 
I'm sure I will work something with a cake, so something like uh, a garment, piece of garment. And last but not least, it's the Cotton Stella. If you really want a cardigan so fancy, because this cotton has lurex in it, so as you can see, it's so fancy. You can just work it with this one. With the, uh, this one, it's a yarn that can be used for a uh, five to a uh, four to five millimeters hook. So even five, you can work even with five millimeters hook. And here we have three point five. So you will begin with the number of uh, arches actually that uh, you need for your size, but you will work less here. Um, the raglan increases, I'm sure you will need less. One row less, not, not more. So it's not difficult, it will be really easy for you to alter the size for the weight of the yarn that you use. Okay, that would be all and uh, even for this one you will need two packs. I'm pretty sure because there are 300 grams in it. Okay, so at least two packs. Okay, you have below the links of the yarns, you have below the links of the tutorial and of the written instruction. Go ahead and work with me. Happy crocheting and see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye. So here I have my summer duster. As I uh, told you in the um, presentation, uh, I won't explain you actually all uh, the steps because I already did in the tutorial of the um, dress asymmetric dress it's exactly the same thing i just want to explain you uh, what i worked differently and of course there are the written instruction this time i put them on ravery too so you can both on uh, buy them on ravery purchase them off on ravery if you don't want to buy the yarn from our shop okay so you have uh, the possibility to buy only the instructions so uh, of course for the customer of my um of our shop as I, I told you in the presentation the instructions written instruction in five sizes are free so uh, what I want to say is that uh, I began with 12 arches for the back side four and four for the sleeves one and one for the front side and four more for the raglan increases the four raglan increases now what I want to say is that this is for a small M size and um, I went on one row, let's say one row more. And on the front side, in, in front side, front neckline, instead of round neckline, I put a, a V neckline because it's actually easier to work. You just continue on increasing until the sum of uh, front, the both front sizes is exactly the same uh, with the back side into the same uh, row obvious so i have four, uh, 12 plus 12 and on the back side 24 and that was perfect then you will stop increase and just continue on working um, straight okay then i worked the division row for the division row exactly as i did for the uh, dress i put just you know the division row it's one single crochet chain three row so exactly the same thing i put here a um, arch just one arch so i add just one sequence this is for every and each and every size okay and uh, i worked one more uh, double crochet three double crochet row all around only front and back side after the division was made and then i only work shells so as you can see i worked uh, this kind of shells here and actually i worked uh into the second each of our group of three into the second i work three and so on so uh, i think it's uh more lightly let's say like this more summer okay uh these um, little patterns here pattern here and i will show you um in um when I will show you the sleeve, how to work the sleeve, I will show you how uh, I worked this stitch. And what I want to say is that 
300 wasn't enough for me so I have to put something so I combined as I already told you in the presentation I combined linen the linen yarn even it's if it is a little bit more thinner uh, then so the weight it's a little bit more uh, uh, um, thinner that uh, this one the camilla cotton magic it is just perfect look at it isn't it just lovely here i i i think it's it's just a a nice idea and i worked the same thing on the sleeve too now let me show you how to work the sleeve so for the sleeve we will insert hook We will insert hook here. So we have this one, it's here that we want to insert the hook. Okay. And we will single crochet here and chain three. And now I will work all around the the row round, so skip. Three double crochet, single crochet, chain three, skip in between and work single crochet, chain three and so on. I will continue on all around. And at the end I will show you how to actually finish the round. And just go on and work my chain three. And here it is. So watch first the, let's say it's the first part because it's exactly the same thing only that of course you will work open, you will work in rows even after the neckline is ready, okay? And this is the sleeve, just going on and skip three double crochet, chain three, skip three and single crochet. I almost finished, now I worked my chain three, I just have to insert hook. So I have my three here. That's one, two, three. And I will insert hook here into this stitch and single crochet. And now I will chain three more over the arch that I put, I added on the um, underarm when I worked the dividing row and I slip stitch. Now I will actually begin here with my uh, I worked single crochet chain three now I have to work double crochet I have to work double crochet the double crochet row I came back let me show you so I'm here I just try to come back here in the middle and to pull up a loop just pull up a loop like this okay to be in the middle and now insert hook into this one too this little arch from the underarm and now let us begin so we have two loops yarn over pull through two and this is the first part of our um, double crochet now insert hook here and pull up a loop again and this will be the second part yarn over this is the first double crochet and this is the second okay so now actually we have the first double crochet, it's worked, here it is, when we'll, we'll be back, we'll, be, we'll have, okay, and it's more or less the same as this one is, okay, this is the way we begin, we will finish here, we will end with one double crochet, okay, at the end, so I worked only two, then I will skip into the next chain three space, I just want to work three double crochets and so on all around, of course. Just want to work over the tail too. So three double crochets into each chain three space all around. And from the next, 
from the next round we will begin with the shell stitch okay and just continue on I almost finished so as you can see I finished my three here and now here in the in the middle I worked only two double crochet so I will work one more to finish the last group of three insert hook into the double crochet and slip stitch to join and now what we want to do is to chain one we will work now the shell stitch uh, pattern so I chained one insert hook into the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two chain one and pull through this one only this loop and yarn over pull through two this is my very first double crochet yarn over insert hook into the next and work the second it's more or less the same and now i will continue only two the third will be worked into uh, at the end and now into each of my second double crochet of each group of three I will work three double crochets and this is how you work the shell stitch so that's why I said it's really easy but it's lighter for the summer it's better okay that's why I thought uh, it would be just perfect to work with this shell stitch instead of continuing on with the granny uh, variation stitch and now I will go on and in each of my second double crochet of each of my uh, uh, double uh, three double crochet group I will just work a shell of three double crochets now from the second from the third row I will round sorry I will begin to decrease because you know for the sleeves we want to decrease to have nice and perfect sleeves so to the wrist so I will just um, decrease okay just as you can see we begin with the shell so I almost finished I finished my last shell now I have to complete my first one with the third double crochet always we will complete like this insert hook into the first that we worked and slip stitch to join now we begin a new chain one and insert hook into the first and now we have our very first double crochet what I want to say is that we will begin to increase from this round I will show you at the end we will begin we will be a decrease uh, decrease to decrease we will will be a decrease on two steps on two rounds okay we will work a decrease and will be a decrease two rounds of decrease then a round by working all the stitches as they are and we will begin again in another two rounds of decreases but we will decrease uh, at the beginning of the round and then again at the end and then at the beginning and we will just continue on until the circumference will be just perfect for the rest of the circumference that we want now I begin with two um, double crochets and I will finish by adding the third always finish like this and now I just continue on working all around as I did before this is actually the stitch that we will imply for working by uh, to work the sleeves and at the end I will uh, stop into this one so I will just show you into the last one how to work the decrease so as I said I stopped before the last shell uh, to work and 
Into the last shell to decrease, we will just work two double crochets. That's all. This is the first step. Now, uh, yarn over, work your third double crochet into the beginning shell, insert hook and slip stitch. Let us begin a new round. We have two, pull through both, chain and pull through two. Okay, this is my first double crochet. Let us work the second and only two because we just want to continue on with shells and at the end we will work the third. So always at the, the beginning shell will be completed with the third double crochet at the end of the round. Now I will continue on. I will show you how to work the second step of the decrease. Let's continue on with the row. So I'm at the end. Now these two together into the second decrease round. Okay. And now I will work the last and insert hook in the middle slip stitch and let us begin a new round with our first double crochet and second and we continue on all around. I will show you into this third round of decreases how to work. Okay. This is the last round, will be the last round of decrease, then we will work a round, a normal round with all the stitches as all the shells, shells as they are without the one that we just decreased and then we will begin another decrease but uh, into the second. So one will decrease, we will decrease the second to last and into the next uh, decrease three rounds we will decrease the second and so on we will go until as I said the uh, wrist will be okay. So I almost finished the last, the third row, the round, the, the last round of decrease so I will work the last shell but one and two. The third double crochet of the shell will be a decrease with this one that uh, has had left from our shell that we decreased. So work double crochet, don't finish it, yarn over insert hook into the stitch and these two will be worked together. And now yarn over insert hook in at the uh, to work the third of the first shell and slip stitch to join. And now I will work a round with all the shells, without of course the shell that we just decreased, as you can see. And then I will begin again my three rounds of decreases, but I will decrease the shell, the second shell of the round. And then I will decrease again, so all uh, I will decrease again a uh, the last shell and the second and the last and so on and we'll show you here because uh, like this we will have a nice decrease line okay so as you can see one I took it from here and one from this side and one from this side and so on okay just because I, we want to have a nice uh, decrease line we will continue on like this to decrease three rounds of decrease plus one round with all the shell uh, that remain obvious worked normally uh, until the circumference of the wrist is perfect for us and then we will just continue on in length if we need some more rounds to add. So at the end I just wanted to show you I already completed so as you can see it's this the second uh, second shell that I decreased now and I had two and one and for the third decreasing round uh, I worked like this. Now I insert hook first into this one and then skip one insert hook in the middle and with the first we make the decrease not with the third 
of the second to last as we did before just here okay like this and now we just finished the decrease at the beginning of the round too just one one decrease. okay now let's see how to work the border all around and the button holes now we have this uh, bottom part of the design which is with the shell stitch and on this part we will work around each double crochet uh, we be begin from here insert hook directly into the chain and we will work chain and double crochet and here we will work uh, two single crochets around each double crochet edge double crochet border double crochet one and two one and two and so on one and two and so on we continue working around our border double crochets until we reach the part with the granny variation and on that part we will work into the single crochet chain three rows we will work a single crochet two now I just single crochet two times okay so now I have here my last double crochet row and I have to work into the single crochet as you can see this is the pattern with the single crochet so into the single crochet one and then we continue it into the double crochet two into the single crochet one into the double crochet two okay so this is how we will continue on from now on okay single crochet one as you can see we just go on like this into each arch we will work three single crochets so we will skip into each arch three single crochets okay and then we will come back on the other side with the same rule nothing fancy this is the first into the second I will begin to work my uh, buttonhole okay uh, there is one more thing I want to tell you it's that uh, where I finished to increase for the v-neck line and I count here one two three four five six it's here that I finish as you can see from here I worked all the stitches here it's the last group of three double crochets as you can see that I added from there I just went on uh, with uh, all the stitches as they are so I I stopped increasing at the beginning and at the end it's here into this single crochet that you will work three single crochets and exactly the same thing and you will put in the middle the, the marker and exactly the same you will work on the other side so from now on I will just continue on with two single crochets around the double crochet and one single crochet into the single crochet let me show you and this is what we go on and work till the end till we get the the arch this is the first little arch which means here I work single crochet into the last double crochet I go on and work two single crochets and now I will skip directly into the first arch working over the tail here too and I work single crochet three and then into the next arch with single crochet three so <laughs> three single crochets into the next arch three single crochet and so on so this is this is what we will work all around on our arches and on the other side you can see which is this is my last arch so from here I will work two single crochets and one single crochet into the single crochet and again into my it's here it's one two three four five six yes this is the last it's here that I will work three single crochet already put the 
marker on just to be sure I will count one more time the stitches the number of rows one two three four five six yes so six on one side six on the other side it must be the same obvious and I just continue on with this border like this now uh, what I want to say is that from the second round um, row around it's this one I will show you uh, it's row sorry we go like this and we go back uh, I will show you actually how to work the button holes. So I will put some here. I don't know, just two or three. I just want, or maybe just one big. I don't know. Uh, I'm not very sure for now, but I just uh, continue on. And then I, when I will be back on the um, sequence that I want to put the button holes, I will show you where and how to do this. So first of all, I want to show you that uh, we will work the buttonholes on the left side as if it's weird like okay so in that position you you will put it so on the left side very important because this is how uh, woman uh, apparel um, has have the but buttonholes okay and the man apparel uh, had have them on the right side so it's a rule and I put here, I will put only two buttons. I, I want to be very um, honest with you. It's just because I found only these two buttons. I have them here at home uh, in my box, button box. And um, I, I just found these two that goes perfectly with this, um, this cardigan so I have only two I will put only two buttons so two button holes I need you can put three or four I don't know and um, you can work it longer so here it's you to decide obvious but for the button uh, the most important thing is the rule is you skip as many you chain as many stitches as you skip so I skip two single crochet I chain two skip three chain three so this is the idea into the next round uh, row just work exactly the same number of single crochet as many chains as you have so I have two I put two now uh, skip the chain work the buttonhole and just try it must be tighter okay nice and tight believe me it's important okay like this and then just work the stitches as they are so i work two now i will work one more here so i will just work three more single crochets and chain two skip two and here i work one and then i will just continue on don't increase anymore here you just increase at the into the very first row and it's just enough I'm working back loop, back loop only you can work into the entire stitch as you wish now that's it hope you enjoy this um, summer um, duster cardigan depends on if you want to work it longer you can work it longer it's your choice it's really nice and easy and even if you don't want to work the um, dress to match with uh, you can work only the cardigan because from my point of view it's just perfect for summer now if you want to choose uh, other kind of yarn and you don't know what kind of yarn from our from our yarns obvious you can just write to me into the um, mail below in the info box you have my mail so you can you can just write me or uh, send me a private message on my page, a Facebook page, and I will be so very happy to uh, choose to advise uh, some uh, with some um, yarns that uh, can uh, substitute this one. So, um, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials, and don't forget to have a look on our yarns the link is below the link of the eShop is below of this tutorial see you at the next tutorial bye bye